instructions that have been given to the Department of Defense by the, through the National Security Council and by the President of the United States. And the President has made that clear. I quoted from his statement, this will be reviewed. But I think on this basis, there is some slippage. There was a slippage of six to seven months just on the construction last year. But Johnny, would you comment on that? Yes, we, we have stretched out the program, and there was an initial delay, as the Secretary mentioned. Uh, we do have a projected new date for the completion of the 12 sites. Uh, were we to go ahead uh, on the current plan? The date uh, for the completion, however, has not been announced in, in unclassified form. Secretary, they don't look very you, happy. You have had uh, some criticism already from uh, Senator Pastorian and <laughs> Jackson. Uh, Senator Pastorian, as you know, says he feels we should rest on the two uh, sites now <coughs> in construction and complete those before we expand the program. Senator Jackson ex has expressed doubt about the necessity of gearing up for defense against the uh, Chinese. Uh, do you have any comment on that? And do you feel that you may have a difficulty of battle uh, over the expanded ABM this year as you did over starting it last year? Well, I uh, don't want to end, underestimate the, uh, uh, we're going to do the best job we can in convincing the Congress to support the President's program. As far as Senator Jackson's comments, he made those clear in the committee meeting today. I'd rather have, uh, I think, his statement that he has released this noon speaks uh, very clearly and uh, indicates that he supports uh, the Minuteman uh, protection, and perhaps he would have gone with one more site. But uh, we have a modified phase program. We're I'm going. Senator Pastore was at the committee today I, uh, and uh, questioned me at uh, some length. Uh, his questioning, uh, uh, I believe you should ask him about this, but his questioning ran uh, uh, along the lines of the priorities within government. Uh, uh, and uh, I know Senator Pastore well. We both happened to serve on the Defense Appropriations Committee and the Health, Education, and Welfare Committee. And uh, I uh, understand his concern, uh, but I think we're doing a pretty good job in recognizing those other priorities. And, and I tried to explain our recognition of the priorities in the other fields, in the domestic fields, as adequately as I could in the committee hearings today. Maybe just the in terms we can use, how would you um, compare the American ABM developments during the past year with the Soviet developments? How can you compare the two? I believe that we are, from the standpoint of the technology of the anti-ballistic missile system, that we are ahead of the Soviet Union. And I believe that that is one of the reasons that in all the reports we received from Helsinki, they indicated a great deal of interest in this. And I believe that it's one of the most important bargaining tools we have as far as the SALT discussions are concerned. Thank you. Thank you.